Time for a cup of coffee and a little chat. Right, um, Sunday, I saw an interesting video on Scott Reviews Things um, about beer reviewing and beer reviews. Have they ha had their day on YouTube? And um, there's some valid points in it, to be honest. He, he, uh, this is the type of video that I think I would have made something similar in the new year. And I'll tell you why in the new year in a minute. But um, I thought, well, let's respond to some of the points he came up with because uh, they were they were valid. Um, and I think coming up to Christmas, this channel will be 10 years old. I've been doing it for 10 years. And... Um, I'll be honest with you, it's been tough. Uh, not recently, but the channel over the course of 10 years, uh, it, it's been a struggle um, uh, to keep going at one point. But we're here. And I suppose, you know, it's a niche thing, isn't it? Reviewing beer on YouTube. Uh the biggest channel, of course, is Simon's, and Simon, and rightly so, he's been going the longest out of near enough everybody now. So, um, he's put a lot of hard work into his channel, and um, you know, he, sh he should get respected. You know, uh, you know, he gets my respect. He should get respected from people for for, for the hard work he's put in, uh, the perseverance he's carried on with. Um, so, um, it is a niche thing, though. To be honest, it's. You know, it's not as simple as what people make out. Cracking open a can or a bottle, or sometimes using your perfect draft or whatever, whatever machine you got, pouring out a beer and describing it, then giving your evaluation of it at the end. It, it's, it's not as easy as what you think. Because when I first started, um, there's lots of doubts creeping in when I first started doing doing this. Um, going back when it first started, it was a completely different environment back then in the shops and everything. This was before craft beer. This was um, where you just had ales in your shops. And if you wanted something different, you used to go to Beers of Europe um, to order you know, anything like German stuff or, or whatever. So <laughs> this was really pre-craft beer when I started. And the reviewers at the time were very much an inspiration. They, you know, they, the reviews at the time, and, the, you know, Simon, uh, Hopzine, uh, Terry K, God bless him. Um, Sofa King drunk, and um, Stuart Pickard, um, and Gareth Ravy. All these reviewers, Maria Devan. I can go on. Greg, um, Greg has just recently passed away. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Forgive me for that. Anyway, all these re all these reviewers were very inspiring and. Um, Gave me the confidence to start my own channel. The confidence was very low at the beginning though. What confidence I had was low. Because when I first started, I was accused of uh, copying somebody or being like somebody. And um, I totally get it. Um, if you watch somebody review a beer, you subconsciously copy their style, especially if you share the same sense of humour as them. So it took a long time to, for a lot of people to, to take me seriously in, in the beer community, if, if, if you know what I mean. And it was... Um, a tough time, but I persevered. The reason why I persevered is because I absolutely love beer. So, for any channels now, 
wanting to start. Um, you know, the ones who have started, um, you know, all, will always get my support. Will always get my support, you know. Even though I don't watch all, all the videos and everything, that they'll always get my support because I've, I've been there and done it and worn a T-shirt like a few others out there. Um, so has beer reviewing itself, has it lost its touch? I think for me, thinking about it, I think it loses its touch if there's nothing exciting to say anymore. Now that might stay, sound a little bit weird, but when you look at the supermarkets, this is a prime example. This is the prime example. The supermarkets, they have had all these different drops. The first drop was everybody went bananas for the supermarket beers and everyone was going, yeah, this is great. And it was great. Even the beer quality was good. And, you know, previous, you know, since then we've had other drops of beers in the supermarkets. And every drop, it seems like the novelty value wears off slightly. And we had a period where the reviewers at the time were just rushing out, getting them as quick as they can and sticking them on. Which, you know, I'll be, I'll be guilty of that. I have done it. Um, and being part of it, but it wasn't enjoyable because then again you're losing the whole ethos of your channel. You're using you you're losing your the, your integrity in a way. You're just trying to compete with everybody else, and it got a bit silly. Um, to be honest, that's when I started to get a little bit disillusioned with the channel itself. I was doing too many supermarket beers. And there's too many of the same style in the supermarkets as well. And it was getting tough. Um, that's when I started to do some other weird stuff on on channel. And I did a, a channel update saying I don't want to be just pending as a beer reviewer. I want to do other stuff. And, I, and to be honest, since, since that time, um, I have done other stuff, which I've enjoyed doing. So it has kind of like saved me in that way um i'm rambling on so please forgive me i'm going from one subject to the other um <laughs> you're not the only one scott if you're watching this rambling on so um when i got disillusioned other stuff were happening within the community if you know what i mean People weren't getting on anymore. Um, I'm not going to name names. Um, forums on Facebook and everything. Uh, was, uh, it wasn't about the beer. People were starting to insult people and started to, you know, turn a bit nasty. And it's just about fucking beer at the end of the day. It's just a fucking drink, in it? And, and people started to fall out and... Um, that's when I thought, oh, you know, I don't want to be a part of something where people just keep falling out and stuff. So, um, I kind of like my content kind of like slowed down a little bit around that period. Um, it was putting me off doing them, to be honest. It, it, you know, there's no need for it. Um, I carried on, but shut myself off from it all. And try not to get involved uh, with any of it. Um, obviously, I, I did say a couple of things at the time, but I do regret them. And I have apologised for saying a couple of things. And I've left it at that. But it, it was it was very toxic. Because um, that wasn't why I was doing it for. So we came to a, a peak in... in, in in my channel's history, where uh, well, I was at a crossroads, really, whether or not to carry on or not. Um, but then something happened. And I think it was doing the other stuff, you know, the out-and-about videos and stuff, 
which I really enjoyed doing, and I started to leave the supermarket beer alone. I turned my back on the supermarket and started to go back to the beer, the styles of beer which I loved at the beginning. And they were your traditional ales. They were the beers which you fell in love with you know, first time around. So I started to go and drink traditional ales. Started to go out smaller breweries. Picked up a couple of bottles from Carlisle Brewery, Brewing Company. Carlisle Brewing Company. Reviewed them. Got a response back from the brewery saying they really enjoyed the review. I think it was a Kohlschlager. And it gave me some momentum back it inspired me to carry on because i thought hang a minute you know it doesn't matter about your subs you know this channel is not a big is this channel is not a, a, a big channel it's a tiny beer channel to be honest and you know the viewing figures are very very low very low for 10 years but it's not about that it's not about that. What my channel is about is promoting beer for the smaller breweries. And I'll start, even though with the smaller breweries, you don't get the viewing figures. You get your viewing figures with your big supermarket concerns, your Northern Monk and everything, Brewdog, because everybody drinks it. Everybody goes to the supermarket, don't know, and they pick it up. But for me, I, I diverted to the smaller breweries. Look around where I lived. Yorkshire Dales Brewing Company. Uh, got friendly with them. Um, then uh, recently, obviously, Bayonet Brewing around the corner for me. Uh, Richmond uh, Brewing Company. And um, I've start, started to talk to uh, the station, brew, brew station now in Richmond. And it's given me drive to carry on because the beers I'm doing now are the beers are good beers usually good beers honest beers and they need a good shout out because some of these breweries are brewing stuff which puts the supermarket to shame they really really do so it's been a bit of a roller coaster for me in this channel. So when I, I watched Scott and he was saying about, um, you know, how hard it is, you know, it is it is hard, you know, and the lack of, I think for me, it's the lack of excitement now from the supermarket. Um, when you look at what they've got in them now. Um, about once or twice a year, I, I do go to the supermarket and just buy a load and try them out. But I know I'm, I'm, I'm in for a hiding because the beers um, are pretty substandard. Boots a budget and sometimes you only have to look at a can and think that's going to be a pile of shit. And, it, you know, nine times out of ten, it is a pile of shit. So, um, for me, it's not about... It's about doing doing things on your channel which suit you and nobody else. Um, obviously, we've had beer reviews come and go over the years. Um, and, you know, one of my main inspirations when I started is actually a beer channel, which I don't think it has got... I don't think it's got a big amount of subs... But it was a massive inspiration. That was Stuart Pickard. So when you know you look at the some, I think some new channels do they get obsessed with the figures and the numbers and the and the, you know the lives and everything? Most probably. Um, but if that's what they want to do, that's that's up to them. Um, from a live perspective, I've never really been a big 
stream. I did do this Saturday night thing, which I might do again, this Saturday evening, shall I say, early evening, uh, live every week uh, for a while, and I might go back to them. I've thought about that. But I think that the, the, the secret is to change gears when you want to. My The way I do it is... Uh, you don't always feel like doing beer reviews. You tend to, I tend to store up a load of material, and when I don't feel like doing it, I just put that on a daily basis, and, and that covers me until I um, get back to it. But it's it's never been about money. It's never been about views. It's just been about the beer. And any advice, my advice to anybody starting now is just be yourself. Just just kind of like, you know. There was another comment he made that, you know, sometimes people watch beer reviews for the person. And I think, um, I think, I think there's an element of truth in that, to be honest. I, I really do. I think uh, the sense of humour or the, the, the camaraderie like that, I think there is a sense of, you know, the truth in that, that people do watch it for the person. You know, you can't really be stiff pour yourself a bottle of beer and you know that looks oh that looks kind of like gold let's drink it you know so it, you know it, it's it's my advice to anybody starting is, is to just pace yourself um but at the end of the day the question is do i think they're going you know beer reviews are going out of fashion um I don't think they've ever been in fashion, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think they have. I think it's a niche. I think people will watch you and enjoy them. Um, I think they'll always be there. Um, I know for a fact that I'll always be doing it. I know I'm coming up to 10 years on YouTube, and for me, it's a personal achievement, um, you know, Hopefully by Christmas I would have done beer number three thousand, and for me it's a personal achievement uh, to do to get to that stage. Um, in the new year, the plans for the channel, well, it's going to be beer most probably, but will it be kind of like a little bit slower? It could be, um, not too sure yet. But I think you know I'll always keep doing this. I just love doing it. Um, but it's nice. To see, you know, other people's channels, and and it's really nice actually to see channels who've been going as long as me, um, and still doing it. And uh, that's a little nod to Dean if he's watching it. Um, it's really, it's really nice because we, we, it's weird. We 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 started very similar time. I think I was just about a week or two before him, but it's it's we kind of like gone through the whole cycle of what was in the shops and what came out. In the you know in the same you know same way it's kind of like we've gone through different tunnels but we've come out the other end so it's nice to see him still doing it and there's there's always been you know great reviews which have come in um, you know mid term so I say like all the being no idea Barry you know he's he's a great man uh, great friend um, also you know. Scott and Wanda, when they first started, it, 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 it's kind of evolved into something completely different, but he's he's done a lot of hard work on his channel. I can name drop a load of channels, which I might as well while I'm sitting here. Um, Simo Supps, uh, great lad, great sense of humour. Um, yeah, Bramall, backroom channel, um, beer review channel. Um, you know, a lovely, lovely guy. Um, and then you got Robert Hopseam, you got Harry Meadows as well, who's been going just as long, maybe slightly longer than me. Um, you had the Clueless Drinker, um, I think it's called something else. I used to watch quite a lot. Then you've got um, Kent Beer Reviews. Uh, Kent Beer Reviews, you know, I, I watched him in lives, and he says he's doing it on his terms. You know, he's just getting the beers what he wants to review, and and fair dues to him. You know, that's that's. That that's that's the way you want to do it. That's the way you want to do it. You know, there's no set rule about doing this. You just pick the beers what you want to do. You know, and I think that's the beauty of it. You know, don't ever feel 
any advice to any new channels, a great new channel, well, relatively new, Deep Ink Spoon Reviews, um, don't force yourself. Don't force yourself to the supermarkets just because everybody else is reviewing it. Don't force yourself. Just do it at your own pace. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's... It's quite, you know, my wife thinks I'm stupid still doing them. <laughs> what do wives know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I do get on her nerves as well, you know. Every time we go abroad, it's kind of like, uh, not go to the hotel. I need to get to the beer shop, see what stuff there is. So I get up in the holiday bathroom. <laughs> holiday bathroom um... <laughs> beer reviews, you know. So it, it's 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 good fun at the end of the day. Um, and it is a drug. It is a drug. It's, it is a drug. Going one week without putting anything up, you do tend to get itchy feet by the Friday and you wanting to come up. But also the followers. The followers make you as well. The, the people who watch you. I've had some great, great people give me beer. Um, very nice people. Um, I can name you a few. Stefan Bream, um, fantastic fella. Now in the, I think he's, he's in Germany. Sent me a load of German stuff. Matthew Barker, who's absolutely been an absolute diamond, who has supported me most out of everybody. Um, I hope he watches this. He, he you know, I, I can't thank him enough. Um, then, you you know, you've got people, you know, like Baz, who's, who's sent us beer and everything. Simo, he sent me some beer. I need to still send him some beer back. And, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's been... Um, a really good ride and I'm enjoying it now um, with the people about you know talking and, and to people and everything um, Spice and Easy I've been on Spice and Easy a couple of times recently I've enjoyed that and it's it's just nice just to uh, you know get on with people <laughs> and it's just really really nice so I'm 22 minutes in. I'm not going to go to full 45 like Scott did. Um, so coming back round to it, to answer your question, Scott, in your video, are beer reviews just, you know, is it is it time to knock them on the head on YouTube? Um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to knock it on the head, but I can see why people would. Hey, oh, that's diplomatic. I can see why people would knock him on the head. Because, uh, you know, you know we've got TikTok about. I can, you know, there's people, loads of people on TikTok doing them and stuff. I'm not a fan of TikTok. I actually just recently done my um, TikTok account. So I am on TikTok now. But, um, no, I, I think I think they'll never go out of fashion. There's always going to be the hardcore who are going to be there. And I expect... Um, the names which I've dropped in this video to still be doing it. I'll be very disappointed um, that if they stop. And that's a prime example when Barry from All The Be No Idea decided to stop towards Christmas last year. I was quite upset by that, you know. <laughs> I was quite upset by it because he, 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 he's done, you know, he, he was one of them reviewers which... I levitated to, and um, we were on this car at the same page, so I was, I was quite, yeah, I weren't happy. Baz, I weren't happy about that. Glad you're back. <laughs> but um, no, no, I think we'll all persevere. The hardcore will persevere. And um, I think, um, um, well, I think once, it's, once you do it, and you're just going to carry on until you drop, really. <laughs> anyway, but let me a cup of coffee. Thank you very much. You made it this far. Thank you very much. Check out um, Scott's review things. It's his birthday today as well, but I don't know if this is going to come up on your birthday. But I have wished you happy birthday, Scott. Um, but happy birthday again. And everybody out there, 
as ever, you all stars. <laughs> yeah, you sleep now. Beep, beep.